Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. If you saw the end of yesterday's vlog, you'll know that I'm currently on my way over to the dentist because I need to get a filling. I have a cavity, but as soon as we go over there, take an hour or so and get it taken care of, I'm sure I'll be good as new. My face is so numb. It's only numb on the side that they did it, obviously, but it's in half of my tongue and actually up into my nasal passage, which is a little weird because if I try to like inhale through my nose it's like it's almost like i'm stopped up but i know i'm not stopped up it's just this side of my nose is numb even so it's not as bad as it's been in the past um i think i think it's worse if it's something like on the middle like you have to have a tooth in the middle because then it's like your entire tongue but in this case it's not that bad because it's just on one side so i can talk pretty good Luckily, I don't have to record anything today, so most of, the, most of the day I'm just gonna be editing, and I don't need to talk to anybody. So I just got home from the dentist. Um, it's been a few hours. Dad and I actually went to go get a bite to eat. I came home, turned on the light. There was a loud explosion. Uh, I lost the electricity in this room, and the light up in the thing shot down into the floor and exploded. <laughs> Uh, that was scary. I've been over there on, on my hands and knees trying to pick up all the tiny pieces of glass. I hope I found them all? This is not something I wanted to deal with today. I still can't feel my lip and a little bit of my tongue. And it's starting to wear off on my teeth, which is bad. I gotta get aspirin, because I'm gonna start getting a lot of pain soon. This is not what I wanted to deal with right now. Right. That's right. I don't want to deal with this right now. To be honest, I'm not really sure how to do this. Um, I guess I have to flip the brake, because we still have electricity. I just have to flip the breaker for this room. I've never had to do this before. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Master bedroom, heat, heat, stove, living room. 11. 11. Okay. Did that fix it? Yep, I fixed it. Okay, well, I've never actually done that before. It's one of those things that you like, I don't know, see in movies, and so you kind of know how to do it, but I've never actually had to flip the breaker before. Huh, well, that fixed it. And we are out one light. That's crazy, man. It just shot out of there like a rocket. And this one's dead. At least it didn't shoot out like a rocket. Man, exploding lights can be dangerous. I'm just glad there wasn't a cat standing over here. That would have been bad. My day's already been pretty interesting with the dentist appointment and the light exploding all over the floor. But to make things a little more interesting right before we end off and also to include stereotypical SEMA vlog food, Mao made a Cajun dish because today is actually Mardi Gras. So we decided to get into the, the spirit of things and Mao made jambalaya. And you've never made jambalaya before. No, I've only had it once. And I'm kind of curious. I have a feeling it's going to be good, but I'm curious to how much heat is going to be involved. Have you tried it? I just had a bite. Is it spicy? No. Not at all? No. Not even a little bit? Okay. Well, at least I don't have to, uh, to be disappointed. It's not bad, but it's not jambalaya. Here you go, Cajun seasoning. All right. Let's, uh, let's pour the whole thing in here. A chug, 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 a chug. Oh my god. I just gotta mix it in. It's good. I'm just saying, jambalaya is, uh, it's a spicy dish. It should be very spicy. And I was thinking that you'd probably not use very much. I cause followed I... the recipe. Really? I did. Well, that's not been a jambalaya that I'm, uh, I'm familiar with. That's better. <laughs> that's, that's the stuff right there. The food is good. Everything's cooked great. It's just the spice was missing, but I put the spice back. Mel also made uh, cornbread muffins. There's also dessert. What? There's themed dessert. So what is it that's for dessert? Cinnamon rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure this is king cake? Well, it's basically a cinnamon roll. 
You know okay. It? Okay, maybe you don't know. I don't when know. When I was in high school, we had to do this um, assignment, and it was like a pretty big project where we were in a group, and we had to pick places we wanted to go visit in the U.S. if we could take a road trip. Okay. And one of the places we picked in my group with Stephanie and Nicole was to go to Mardi Gras because we thought it would be real cool. Okay. And then one of the things we had to do is when we presented our project was we had to do something like also instead of just talk about it. So I decided to make fake king's cake, which was cinnamon rolls with dyed frosting. Okay, so... I mean, they're basically sweet rolls with cinnamon. This is king's cake. <laughs> fake king's sort cake. Sort of. <laughs> okay. Sure. So this is just more or less a throwback to your high school days and a funny joke. Yeah. Okay. How does the joke taste? You know... Besides the fact that it looks like Nick Cannon <laughs> slimed these, they actually taste just fine. Good job. Anyway, that's going to be it. Happy Mardi Gras, everyone. Did you celebrate? Probably not, because most, most people don't. We normally don't, but Mal had looked it up on the calendar. It was like, oh, Mardi Gras, let's do something themed. So we did. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, uh, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? You can see through it. Can you guys see through it? I don't know. You probably won't be able to see through it. But you can see through the toilet paper, and that's like a huge pet peeve for me. I got places to be, Mal. Important people to meet. I'm meeting... I'm meeting Switzerland. All of... All of Switzerland! <laughs>